Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Okay, 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 okay. That's enough. Okay, okay. Love to Yes, it's been two whole years mm -hmm. since uh, we hit the road as nomads. Yeah. Uh, April 1st was our anniversary, and I know it's been six weeks since then, but we've been busy. We really have. <laughs> and it's very hard work to condense 12 months of life into 12 minutes of a retrospective um, or thereabouts. So uh, we hope you enjoy a quick look at the last 12 months in our life. And if you want to see more, we do have extended videos on our YouTube channel, Let's Get Away From It All. So, we hope you enjoy this time. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye bye. Let's take a trip in a trailer. No need to come back at all. Let's take a powder to Boston for chowder. Let's get away from it all. In our second year, we concentrated on the eastern half of the United States. We began by moving from Lake Conroe to Colorado River. And when you travel in Texas, you have to stop at... Bucky's! It's like a gas station convenience store on steroids. It's Disneyland for travelers. It has everything. We spent most of our time in our Thousand Trails parks. And in Texas, you can go swimming in April. Tell me, Sally, where are we? We are at Becky. And they are only open for breakfast and lunch. And they have the best tomato soup homemade in the whole country. Maybe the world. And really terrific pie. While I used the public library to upload YouTube videos, Sally waited patiently. We went to Austin to visit Matt and Claire and to tour the state capitol. Our next stop was Lake Whitney, south of Fort Worth. But first... The Tragedy ah! of Waco! Ah! That's where a steel rod jumped up out of the road and poked a hole in our beloved trailer. All the way through into the storage compartment. But we finally made it to Lake Whitney, where we got to do all of our favorite things, like hunting for fossils. And swimming. And spending time with grandkids. Which is the best thing of all. And that's no bull. We also got to have lunch with Aunt Nancy, who gave Aurora a family heirloom. We spent one week at Lake Tawakany and stayed in this little cabin because we were having work done on the trailer. We spent six days at Lake Texoma, which was new to us. It's on a beautiful lake on the border between Texas and Oklahoma. And it has all the amenities. Here's the pool and some sheltered pickleball courts. And a yummy cafe that we were sure to frequent. We only spent two days at Millwood Landing, so we don't have much to show for it. Except memories of a luscious lunch. We spent a week at Cherokee Landing near Memphis, Tennessee, but we didn't do anything worth writing home about, so let's move on. <laughs> During a week in Kentucky, we visited Mammoth Cave National Park, where we learned local history, saw the sights, hiked, and visited a great big hole in the ground. We spent the 4th of July holiday at Deem Lake near my dad's home in New Albany. We took grandkids swimming in the lake, which they loved, and I got to hike, which I loved. We don't have much room for holiday decorations, so we project ours on the side of the trailer. We all spent a fun day at Holiday World. We couldn't get the kids off the Revolution ride. They were having a blast. Even upside down on the Thunderbird. We eased on down the road to Indian Lake in Batesville, a beautiful park where we saw a beautiful rainbow. We made a side trip to the Ark Encounter in Williamstown, Kentucky. It was awe-inspiring. We met up with the grandkids again at Bear Cave in western Michigan. The park itself left something to be desired. But it did have some beautiful scenery. I love the morning mist on the St. Joseph River. The kids loved the games in the activity center. 
and hiking the nature trails. And while we were in the area, we took a side trip to Holland and had dinner with a dear old friend. No, not Benjamin Franklin, another dear old friend. We drove across the state to the Detroit Greenfield RV Park in Ypsilanti, another peaceful park on a beautiful lake. We got to spend more time with the kids, especially Freddie, since Ev was at church camp. Sorry, Freddie. <laughs> we whipped around Lake Erie and spent two days at Leisure Lake. Not doing a whole lot, so bye bye we spent two weeks at the beautiful park in Hershey, Pennsylvania, and the highlight was a side trip to Philadelphia, where we took in all the historical sites. We walked where the founders walked, and sat where the founders sat. And sometimes we just sat. We also visited the old Cornwall Iron Furnace and learned everything there was to know about how they made pig iron in the 1800s. Skyline Ranch Resort in Front Royal, Virginia, has an Old West theme. It's right at the entrance to the Shenandoah National Park, and we spent a glorious day on Skyline Drive. The views were spectacular. It was like being on top of the world. I spent some time at the bottom of the world, that is, deep under the mountain, in Skyline Cavern. And we closed out the summer in Lynchburg, Virginia. The place was really jumping on Labor Day weekend. It was here that we took our magical history tour. Our first stop was the National D-Day Memorial. Then we visited Thomas Jefferson's Poplar Forest Retreat. And we ended our tour at Patrick Henry's retirement home, Red Hill. We arrived at the Forest Lake Park in Advance, North Carolina, just in time for hurricane season. The local Walmart parking lot became a staging area for power trucks waiting to restore service after the storm. The preparations were really impressive. We had a lot of rain and some brisk winds, but we never felt the brunt of the hurricane where we were. This river ran right by our park, and although it did flood, and it was full of debris, we were never threatened. And when it wasn't raining, my brother and I spent some quality time at the shooting range. The Oaks in coastal South Carolina was situated right next to a beautiful lake. A lake that contained live, wild alligators. <laughs> alligators I got to see close up and personal. That was great. We took a field trip to Fort Sumter in beautiful Charleston Harbor. And when we were through, we had a most elegant salad in a most elegant restaurant. Mmm, it was delicious. We spent one night at a small park in Woodbine, Georgia, where we were met by a friendly flock of free-range chickens. It's called Walkabout because its owners are from Australia and they won't let you forget it. And on to Florida. We got to add a new state and three new parks to our list. At Space Coast RV, we were near my cousin Cindy who lives on Merritt Island. We spent one whole day at Jetty Park enjoying the pier, the beach, and the big boats. But we were just waiting for midnight when we got to see a rocket launch. Check one thing off my bucket list. Oh, we also went to the zoo. After three weeks, we moved to Orlando RV, a great, big, beautiful park. It's near Harry Potter World at Universal Studios. That explains the speed limit. Doug took me to the Animal Kingdom for my birthday, and we had a most wonderful time. We especially enjoyed the Lion King show. Just a couple of hours up the road was Three Flags RV Park. We didn't do anything really special while we were there. We just enjoyed the beautiful scenery and the warm weather. After six weeks in Florida, it was time to head home to Texas. The Florida Panhandle had been absolutely devastated by Hurricane Michael only a few weeks before. 
It was amazing to see trees flattened from horizon to horizon. We were fortunate enough to find a park in Robertsdale, Alabama, where we could spend the night. We spent two nights at Yogi Bear's Jellystone Park in Robert, Louisiana. Of course, we had to have our picture taken with the local celebrity. <laughs> it was a huge park with tons of amenities. In fact, I think I counted seven different swimming pools scattered throughout the park. It was a bit chilly while we were there, but that didn't affect the natural beauty. We arrived on Thanksgiving Day. So, where did we have our big Thanksgiving feast? Waffle House! Now don't laugh, it really was delicious. Our last leg took us back to our home park at Lake Conroe. President Bush 41 died soon after our return, and since he was a native of this area, the commemorative activities were extensive. The train carrying his body was greeted by huge throngs, and we were among them. We spent a week at Lake Tawakini just so we could watch Aurora in a high school production of Legally Blonde. She's getting so big. We spent the whole rest of the winter alternating between parks on the I-10 corridor. We celebrated Christmas at Colorado River. We decorated with our own twin pines and a porcelain nativity. Even in December, we were surrounded by green trees and grass and deer. Then back to Conroe. That stay was interrupted by a quick trip to Indiana to attend a memorial service for my sister Susan. But we still had our lighter moments. We got sick of all those commercials for inversion devices, so Sally decided to make her own. Big mistake. Huge. And back to Colorado River, where we passed time doing jigsaw puzzles. Then on to Medina Lake near San Antonio. That's the park famous for its deer. They let you feed the deer there, and I love it. Yeah, you'll eat out of my hand, won't you? And now, not only will you eat out of my hand, you're going to be a pig. And you're going to say, more, more, give me more. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot eat my camera. Can't eat my phone. Let's see if any of the other guys would like some. No. You're being the pig. And back to Colorado River, where a national cowboy action shooting competition was taking place. Both men and women participate in full costume. Now she's already shot the rifle. Now it's time for the shotgun. And the pistols. First one, then the other. And the highlight of the spring, our family reunion. We had all three of our boys, their wives, and the grandkids. The perfect way to end our second year on the road.